All right, for you guys' requests, I ended up getting a pair of these sneakers right here. This is the Osmillion. Uh, I believe that is how you call them. But this is a new Oz line sneaker that's been out for a little while. And I finally um, got a pair of them. Shout out to you guys again for suggesting you wanted to see them. And also shout out to Adidas for sending this one over. I reached out to them. I was like, hey, people actually left comments and wanted to, to see a review on these. So can you guys send them over? And they graciously agreed. If you guys do want to go to Adidas website and buy a pair of them, they do have some colorways on sale now for a pretty decent price under retail. So check the link in the description. It will take you over to Adidas. If you guys use my links, I always tell you guys, it does give me a little bit of a kickback and it supports my channel and my family directly. Always greatly appreciated when you guys do that. Seriously, not an understatement. You guys really, really help me out a lot when you guys use my link, so greatly appreciate it. So as I mentioned, this is the latest from the Oz line that I've seen. They have a ton of them that I've tried on this channel through the years. We have the Oswegos, the original ones. Then we also have the Osras, as well as the Osnovas, the Austrials, as well as the Azaleas, the Ketros, as well as the 40 Craze, which is not uh, an Oz sneaker, but it kind of looks like one. Also, we have other things that look very, very similar to like a Retro Runner. We have the Response CLs and the Addy Star Cushions that I've done a review on. We also have the Retro P F90s. So we've had a ton of different pairs of like lifestyle sneakers on this channel that I like to just get and see how they are. And this one sits at that $110 price point. And overall, it's a very comfy, chunky pair of sneakers for you guys to try out. Fit for me personally is true to size. They are kind of a chunky sneaker, so they might have a little bit of extra room in the toe box. Personally, the true to size is the one that I like. So a quick overview of the shoe, some words from what Adidas says. It says that this draws inspiration from the iconic 90s design. These Adidas shoes are updated for today with pops of color and breathable mesh upper. Your feet stay comfy all day thanks to the Addy Plus cushioning system, absorbing impact with every step. A mix of embossed and deembossed details deliver a fast, dynamic look that's sure to turn heads. But it's their versatility and comfort that will keep you coming back for more. So overall, the upper I think looks nice as well. This colorway is pretty cool because it's kind of like a black and white and gray colorway. This is one I like. Anyway, I, I like that there's multiple layers, uh, overlays, underlays on the shoes. Adidas does a really nice job just adding contrast to the upper so it's not just a straight cut and leather shoe or it's just not a straight knit shoe. Like they have lots of different models out there that have lots of different variety. And this is one of them that accentuates multiple layers. So there's a mesh underlay and then there's an overlay of like leather and then another overlay over top of that. Under parts of that, there is the three stripes on the side. Those are done in kind of like a plastic rubber material. And then on the top of those three stripes, you can see that lace enclosure kind of uh, continues on from there. And then you have a leather toe cap and leather that kind of swirls around the heel. There's lots of oval cutouts uh, to the shoe as well. So it's not just a huge piece of leather on one side. Like if you look at the white panel on the side, it's just like a, a, an eye almost. And then there's an additional panel around the heel and another one overlaid on top of the heel tab. There's also another little leather section for the tongue and it does say Osmillion. And it's a nice little suede-like feel to that as well. Also, you do have these little like teardrop uh, shapes in silver in the front and then also on the back. Again, just a nice little style element that they added to the shoe. It's probably a shoe that most people um, from the sneakerhead perspective will just look at and go, ah, it's another shoe. But honestly, I was like, I've been waiting to get these in hand just as somebody that's tried all of the other uh, Oz sneakers out there. And if you like them, I mean, I get why people like them. They're comfortable. The overall, a very wearable pair. It's not sporty. It just gives you like a different sort of look than a lot of the other runners out there and like a lot of the other like Jordans and retros and stuff. I feel like this midsole actually feels more comfortable to me than like the Oswego's. But leave a comment in the comment section if you agree or disagree. Uh, the outsole traction is kind of nice too. There's lots of different treads and patterns and whatnot on the bottom. It's kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge. Some people might like it, but I feel like it's a little bit too busy. Like you have little triangle pods here, then these little micro like traction things here and the white part here and then squares up at the top that are a little bit wavy and, th and then also on the back. It's a lot of different things going on there. Personally, I think they could probably just make it a little bit more minimalistic, but it's on the bottom of the shoe and when you're walking around, not very many people are gonna see that anyway. I would say overall stability of the shoe, I'd say like an 8.5. It's a pretty stable shoe. Breathability, I'd say it's about a six. Not super, super breathable, especially for the modern day runners that are out there. Attraction. I'd say probably like a 7.5 or so. It's pretty decent traction on the bottom of the shoes. Comfort, I would say is about 7.5 three or so like it's it's better than some of the other Oz's out there it's not as soft and squishy as some of the other like super foams out there the dream strike plus is like a lot more comfortable in my opinion than something like this but this still offers everyday comfort and is very wearable is it a shoe that you can casual yes it is made for casual wear which is something that I do appreciate how's the value in the shoe at $110 I'd say it's a $110 
pair of runners from Adidas. Like if you want to pay for them because they're the new colorway or whatever, then you could pay the full retail. But there's other colorways that are already under retail. So in my opinion, it's always worth looking. You have literally the same exact shoe except for the color blockings. And sometimes that's a really good reason to actually pay more to get the perfect color blocking that you want. But other times if the price is just right, it gives you a chance to try out a model, find comfortable, and then really just enjoy the model even if it's not your favorite color. And then you end up getting the shoe and then realizing like even though it wasn't the color that caught your eye, it's the one that actually looks really good on your feet. So sometimes I like it when you get colorways that are on sale for even lower. It gives you an opportunity to try them out for a much, much lower price and I dig that. Would I recommend a buy? If you like the Oz line for sure, I think it's a nice looking one. It's a nice addition, especially since they're continuing the Addy Plus cushioning in the midsole uh, instead of Addy Preen or Addy Preen Plus. I like this one better. I also do like that it's a chunky 90s style. I know some people might not like that still. I feel like that circles and the wave is going to just come right back around soon, but I do like it and I do like the colorways that they have available on their website. One of the things I don't like about the shoe, I guess the overall traction pattern on the bottom of the shoe is just a little bit busy. The colorways, again, like I like. And I would say that the overall weight of the shoe is fairly heavy. I don't know exactly the weight, but so they're 11.5 ounces. It's not a very light shoe, but there's a lot of layers to the shoe to make it where it's 11.5 ounces. Anyway, some alternatives that I would mention other than these. Personally, I like the Oswego look better. It's a little bit more of a classic look. If you want something that's a little bit more identifiable, the Oswego is nice. Also, I actually really like the Azalea as well. That one's one of my favorites. And I think they're going to be coming back out with those again soon. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to buy a pair of these, check the link in the description. Have a good rest of the day and hopefully you'll see you back on the channel for some more content soon. All right, peace guys.